welcome to ISE 2020. This is the Vioso booth, and my name is Kevin Zevchek, and I'm from the Vioso America office. And I'd like to introduce you to what we're showcasing here uh, at our booth. So we are introducing our the uh, uh, look into our newest version of the software, which is called Vioso Precision. This is the uh, new iteration of our patented camera calibration system for warping and blending projectors together. The system now integrates uh, 3D. We have a layout system and uh, where you set up your project. And then uh, once you have all your projectors, cameras, and your screen set up, then we can go into the stage and show the, uh, the, the, uh, the projectors, align them up, put our camera, our screen, um, any types of devices that, that may inhibit or uh, help the process. Uh, and then uh, from there, we can go into the calibration and doing the warping and the blending. Nice. So, so it projects a pattern. The camera sees it. Exactly. Yes. The the camera watches the projection surface, and the projectors send out a series of light bursts, and it records this light bursts, figures out the geometry of the of the and the texture of the surface, and then calculates the warping and the blending according to that that view from the camera. Is that what you can do with this also? Yes. So this is the uh, what we have back here on the back wall is a two projector blend. So we have the two projectors up at the top, and then using a camera, we automatically warp and blend that together and create one seamless image. And uh, you can use 4K projectors? You can use any type of projector, any resolution, uh, any technology, any brand. You even ready for 8K projectors? Oh yes, and we've even done it. We've done it? We've done it. There's no 8K projectors yet, right? Yes, there is. Digital Projection has an 8K projector, and we work closely with Digital Projection, and uh, we've, we've blended their projectors together. What's uh, the technology that Digital Projection proje uses it's not DLP right it's not LCD no, or it, it is DLP it's DLP it's DLP yes all right digital so projection actually was the inventor of DLP along with uh, TI oh wow yeah. cool so they've got a chip right there and maybe for cinema or what did they do with it um, right now I think it's it's geared towards the rental and staging in the industry um, and then and large-scale and um, simulation and, and large venue projection. But you probably definitely enable 8K projections right now by using 4x4K four four projectors, exactly. right? Yes, yeah. That's, you do how, a bunch that's of those? a signal feed to it. I'm you sorry. have a bunch of customers doing that? No, no, it's it's still very new technology, um, but yeah, it, we're ready for it. So you, uh, what other demos you have around here? Well, I can show you our dome. This is our, our small scale projection dome. Also here at ISE, just outside uh, Hall F, we have a, uh, a large um, 7.5 meter projection dome. This, is, this little projection dome is, is taking 12 uh, small Optima projectors, wow. and then using our camera-based technology, we use this single point fisheye camera, and in about 10 minutes, we can calibrate this 11, these 12 projectors to create this one perfect seamless image inside the dome. Whoa, and these projectors can be off-the-shelf uh, consumer projectors? Exactly, yes. Yep. Affordable, yep. potentially. And then you have uh, people come into the dome? Yeah, people come into the dome and experience it. And uh, then it's just a question of creating content for all yeah, this, exactly. right? Exactly, yep. Can you, like, uh, are there like video games that pretty much have the 3D engine can be outputted as a, one of these domes? Of course, of course yeah. yeah. So we've worked with a lot of uh, different companies in that way and, and showcasing uh, like Unreal uh, tournaments and uh, a lot of different types of uh, video game uh, venues and events. Can you create a big dome? Oh yes, yes. We actually just, just finished the world's largest uh, projection dome uh, outside of the Super Bowl in Miami uh, two weeks ago. It was 225 feet by 175 feet. That's 70 meters by 58 meters. It was 24 projectors, and we Whoa. calibrated it in about 40 minutes. Whoa. What out of these projectors, like the super bright ones, they're not like full HD, super bright? These are full, they, those were full HD, and they were um, uh, 18K each. We also did a projection on a mountain. This was now holding the record for the world's largest projection. It was 84 40,000 lumen Barco projectors, uh, and it was in Saudi for the Dakar uh, event, and it was uh, projected on the side of a mountain. So we actually projection mapped a mountain. Wow, that's cool. So how soon are you going to be projecting on the moon? <laughs> can you like uh, do some stuff? That, 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 that's the ultimate goal. Once we've uh, done that, then we can we can. So wait, where are you hands. based, the company? The company is based in Dusseldorf. We have offices in France and in the United States, and then we have partner offices all around the world. 
So th there's a competition, right, in this space? Of course. Or, of course. Because I see a bunch of uh, people showing some blending happening and yeah. stuff. So um, are you market leader or what's your... We, we are actually the, the, the originator. We, ha we own the original patent from 2007 uh, for this camera-based uh, warping and blending system. There are two other plant and patent holders, all from the exact same year. Um, but yeah, we're the original ones from 2007. Uh, so let's say I want to have an AK projector at home, right? Can I just buy four times 4K and boom, use your software? How's it going to look for movies? Is that like some kind of issue or is it going to be better to have a single 8K projector eventually? I, I think eventually, but the, the market just isn't there with creating media in 8K. It's very expensive and the problem is is the, the signal transmission. Um, 8K even compressed is, is too large to stream at this point. It's even very large to, uh, to try to, to source locally. So from a USB drive, you're talking mul multiple terabytes of data on it. So that's the big problem right now with 8K. It's not, it's not so much the resolution, uh, because that's easily done. It's the, it's the content, it's the media, and the media creation for it. But perhaps I can build like a Titan RTX kind of a, a Shadow Ultra setup and stream in AK source. Uh, I think even uh, uh, this Google Cloud streaming it says that they eventually will have AK. Uh, maybe uh, Amazon Prime and uh, Netflix are gonna do 8K shows. Yeah, I'm not. I, I don't know if they if they're streaming it yet. I, I mean, it's it's they're they're mostly in all 4K now, but yeah, eventually we'll be there. How about uh, uh, when customers want to do something crazy, cool, and uh, like in a big resolution, a big? Do you have like uh, packages, or you link them up with content creation houses and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, so we sell we sell packages that include the camera for the calibration and also a license dongle. So we work with all different types of uh, of media uh, uh, displays and, and multi system multi display systems. Uh, so we have exports for uh, similar servers like uh, Pixera, uh, Touch Designer, uh, Green Hippo, um, Pandora's Box, Watch Out. Um, so we have a lot of exports for all these major uh, multi-display systems and media playbacks. Nice. Projectors are awesome, right? Oh, yes. And there's a lot of potential to do more and more with them. Of course, yeah. When LED got to the point where the, the price point was, was low enough, uh, people thought the projection was going to go away. And uh, ultimately, what ended up happening was that the people just decided to project on different items. So instead of just flat screens, uh, we started projecting onto buildings and domes and, and things that you really can't put LED on anymore. And uh, that's really where, where the projection is going. And when you start doing that, you need this type of calibration system. And uh, I, I did a video at the Epson booth. It was amazingly bright and beautiful, those mm -hmm. new projectors. Yep. And I guess all the DLP uh, companies are also increasing the brightness. Panasonic is showing 50,000 lumen. Yes. You can do a lot of fun things with that, right? Yes. Yeah, and even, uh, again, uh, Digital Projection, which is a close partner of ours, uh, is showing off their MLS system, which is the lens system is separated from the light engine. So that's fed together with a large optical cable. And what this allows you to do is put multiple light engines together. So you could have 60, 100, 120,000 lumens out of one single lens of projector. And then not have that, that projector lens be in a giant box in, in the facility. You have a small box with the lens and the uh, fiber optic cable, and then going out to the light engines, which could be remotely located somewhere somewhere else in the building. So you're gonna project on some mountains or like the Burj <laughs> yeah, Khalifa? I, that's like when we'll start building on the moon. Yeah, <laughs> that is like uh, more and more potential yeah. to do new projects. The, 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 the big interest in this is in theaters. Um, a lot of live event and, uh, venue theaters um, want to use this because instead of putting the large projectors in the, in the theater and in the atrium, now they just have to have these small boxes with lenses. I saw um, an amazing uh, museum in Doha, Qatar, like it's the most modern I've ever seen with like, I think they had hundreds of these Panasonic super bright projectors. Uh, it's a new trend in the museum. You want to have the whole wall and you want to see the dinosaurs and you yeah. want to see the... Exactly, and yeah, and I think that may have been our, our calibration system uh, in there. It was on the, on the ceiling. It was um, 152 projectors. 152, so you did that one. Because that's, that's the same one maybe, we're talking about, yes. Because that's, that was mind blow blowing in the way that the whole building, probably two, three hundred million dollar building, was designed for projection. It's like the whole thing is like the walls are made for be projected onto. Exactly, yes, yeah. 
It was, yeah, it's designed. And we're also working on a design in Las Vegas that has the same kind of idea. The, the whole, the whole is experience space is designed around projection. Nice. And then they, they, they project 24-7 and uh, after two or three years they need to change the bulbs, right? Uh, no, this is, they're not using bulbs that much anymore. Everything is else is laser now. So laser, laser light engines, yeah. So those maybe in uh, Qatar might be laser. So yeah, there might yes. be no need to change the... It's no. just forever? No, they, they, run for tw they run about 20 to 25,000 hours, uh, continual use. So, uh, you it's know... still three or four years, years, maybe. It's about uh, five, between five and ten. Right. Average is about eight years. All right. And so, if a customer wants to start working on a new project, what do they do? They contact, you start customizing for them, or they just use the software, it works with everything? Either one. They can contact us for from consultant, from everything from the de projection design all the way to the installation, or they can buy just the software through us or one of our integrated dealers. And uh, what's the, is there a price on the software? Depending on the licensing. So we offer the software for based on the playback. The calibration process is pretty much the same for everything, um, but now we have uh, 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 licensing for the type of playback. So we have very simple playback from a playlist. We have types that hook into the GPU that allow you to run any type of application. We have exports to other types of software applications. And then we have a very high-end playback solution, timeline-based. Uh, because I guess to play back nicely, you might need some very powerful GPU accelerated uh, or some yes. media players so we that provide, can support this. Yeah, we provide all, all kinds of hardware. Everything from small players that fit in the palm of your hand to full-size giant systems that offer 24 outputs. And then you have full hardware acceleration on these. Yes. And that's part yeah. of what you do. Yeah, we, we, we engineered the, the, the hardware and the software to run our software.